Hello friends on YouTube, this is Nathan uh, Lawrence, Good News Tree Service in Wilsonville, Oregon. And I have the distinct privilege of working on a pine tree that's probably about 60 years old. This is a coast pine, shore pine, or Pinus contorta. And as you can see, this has been pruned in a Japanese style. So they brought me in, I watched some of my videos, and thought that I might be the person to help bring this lovely uh, tree uh, up to up to uh, par so i'm going to be spending a few hours working on that so i invite you to join me on the journey So here is the tree before I started pruning it. And you might say, it looks pretty good already, and it does. But once I got into the tree, I saw that it had not been pruned properly, and there was a lot of work to do to bring it up to, uh, up to my uh, higher standards than the uh, pruners who had pruned it previously. I also noticed that this tree was very unique and there is not a tree exactly like this in even the Japanese garden in Portland, Oregon, the world famous Japanese garden there. And so I felt very privileged to be able to, to work on this tree. So, a little update on my progress here. I don't have a huge budget uh, on this tree, but the folks do want to keep this tree looking good. It's kind of the signature tree, the centerpiece of their backyard, so they're willing to spend a little bit of money. Technically, I only have about uh, three hours to spend on this tree. And so, uh, maybe, maybe three or four hours at the most. But I'll probably kind of throw the clock away and and uh, spend a little extra time because this is a special treat. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and, and um, uh, cutting out a little bit of dead wood and I am uh, removing branches that are hanging down uh, like, like this one right here and you know anything kind of drooping down. And uh, this is really, this tree is being pruned in more Niwaki style than, than the Tsukashi style. Niwaki is more cloud pruning where you're uh, you've got layers and, and clouds. Uh, it, it replicates clouds, you know, a background tree with with the, the what we look at as the pom pom look, but more of a sort of round balls, more of a flat a flat um, uh, pads they call them. And and so this tree is is this is really more Niwaki, and I'm not really thinning it out so you can see the individual the branching structure of each individual pad although i'm kind of cleaning them out a little bit removing a few things that are going in the wrong direction so anyway i'm basically getting stuff that's drooping down and then i have uh i've got some uh, japanese style head shears and i'm just kind of this this hasn't been candle pruned in a long tree this tree but i'm just kind of evening the top of the pads out as you can see uh or as you will see with these head shears just not really candle pruning, but evening the, the needles out a little bit. And with, uh, with those um, wonderful hedge trimmers, uh, hand hedge trimmers from uh, Japan. And, uh, and then I'm, um, uh, I don't know, just going through, 
trying to remove stuff all. So also I'm kind of differentiating. Some of these pads are growing together. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of separating them out a little bit. So I'm kind of separating them out. Some of these pads have been growing into each other. So I want to kind of uh, differentiate them so they're individual uh, instead of all just one big mass of uh, foliage. So in all honesty, I'd like to probably spend twice as much time as I have the budget to do on this tree. So I'm having to do a few things a little quick and dirty. Like I'd like to be pruning out all the, by hand, all the, you know, the, a lot of the, the, the candles, not the candles. Well, I do like to do more fine pruning on the candles, um, but I'm having to kind of do, be quick and dirty. I'm not doing any bad cuts or all good cuts, but I'm having to be quick and dirty on it. Um, just get the worst ones that are sticking up above the main pads. And also um, uh, the needles that are hanging down underneath. So if you look underneath here, there's needles that hang down. Um, I'd like to hand pluck them, but uh, that's going to take a long time and I don't have the budget for that. So I'm kind of shearing them with the hedge trimmers just so that I want everything kind of growing up and not stuff drooping down and uh, so that's another shortcut i'm taking you know we got to work within budgets um we don't have all you know all day or all year to spend on this tree some of you pure purists out there uh want to explain that you may say what's he doing you know why is he doing it that way or whatever and i get it uh uh sometimes reality is what it is and when the sh when the customer's willing to only pay for a chevrolet you can't give them a a Cadillac and if they're willing to pay for a Cadillac you may not be able to give them a Rolls Royce I can operate at several different levels depending on the budget and that's just reality I'm a pri I'm pragmatist uh, I got to make a living and keep myself going in this business uh, without going bankrupt So I've been up and pruning this tree from the ladder up to this point. Now it's time to get up in the tree. And I'm not gonna wear these lug soled boots because that will potentially scar the tree, skin the bark, not to mention it will take the knock that beautiful the mosses and the lichens off of the bark and that adds so much life, vitality, and character to the tree. We don't want to damage that moss. Such an important aspect of the Japanese gardening, both on the ground and the tree. So I'm going to be putting on these Jikitabi boots, which have a soft sole in them. So they're designed so that you can walk on the moss, walk on the, climb on the trees without damaging the uh, the moss and the, the bark of the tree. And with these with these boots, you have to wear a special sock because a regular sock, your toe will get caught. Well. There's no cleavage between the, no separation between the toe and the, uh, and the rest of your foot. So these boots are real handy for getting up in the trees without damaging them. All right, let's get up in the tree.